Okay, so I don't know how this is going to work out, but believe it or not, yeah, dumpster dive. So I um, I found this thing in some undisclosed location, and what looked like had happened was somebody had sort of bent the crap out of this thing trying to get stuff out of it um like it was some kind of a salvage piece but they didn't have any proper tools so like i i have i rebent this back you can sort of see that it it was all bent out of shape and then this thing was all bent over here so somebody had been prying at this thing trying to get into it what they were looking for, I have no idea, really. But um, at some point, this thing got thrown out, and somebody got their hands on it to try and, um, I don't know, pull copper out of it? I don't know. I don't know what people would have been trying to do, because it was just, like, mangled. So I've taken a look at it. I've I've looked at the uh, the board. The board in here doesn't look too damaged at all I mean I mean nothing is obviously burnt out or anything like that there's no obvious damage the fact that it's got bulk gross damage to the chassis and like the case itself is is all bent up and there is no uh, there was a front panel, there was no back panel, but all of the buttons on the front panel are gone. I'm thinking somebody is just trying to, I don't know where they got it, but they were trying to just grab crap out of it for salvage purposes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've taken a look at it. The, um, the circuit boards themselves seem like they're in pretty good shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put this thing back together and see see what we get. I mean, it didn't cost me anything, so what's the harm? Wish me luck. Power supply values, because we've got the values listed there. Something tells me that if that's getting, if that's got that on it, it's probably high tension, so good idea to be a little careful with this thing. On the other hand, I bet you there was a fan that mounted in there that somebody broke out to get a fan out of an oscilloscope. Really? That's what they... <sighs> okay, well, I should probably have checked the uh, levels in the power supply before doing this, but let's live dangerously, why not? At least I made sure that it was <clears throat> set at the proper voltage. Now, I need to hook up the uh, power button. Again. Where does that thing go? Okay, so a TAS 465, two channel oscilloscopes. I think this is the updated version of the, um, of the 465. Um, analog oscilloscope, um, except it has a few nice features like I, cursors and maybe some math functions. But anyways, we will see what we get when we power it up. I'm going to pull this front panel off because all of these buttons are missing. But I think there's some folks that are on the, uh, uh, I think it's a Google group now, that are uh, have some uh, 3D uh, 3D models for, for buttons that you can print out, but we'll see. All right, moment of truth. Engage safety squints. Oh, there's lights. Oh, something sizzling. Huh. Maybe that's a good sizzle. Look at that, it's got traces. It's got focus. Something's sizzling, though. 
I don't smell anything bad. I don't hear anything bad. Passed all, passed all the tests. You've got to be kidding me. Try that again. I don't believe it. Passed all, passed all. Analog testing, passed all. Oh my gosh. It's a functioning oscilloscope. Okay, so a brief summary of what I have discovered. The scope seems to boot up just fine. It um, passes all of its um, all of its uh, self tests. It also um, auto auto sets channel A just fine. And uh, wait, sorry. There. Once I cleaned these pots a little bit, whoops. It. Uh, they seem to be working okay. The problem is this keyboard no longer works. I'm not sure exactly what the deal was there. And channel B does not synchronize. Uh, sync. Uh, so the something about the horizontal sync is not working on channel 2. And wiggling this connector does not seem to be doing anything. So, yeah. Um, at least I figured out why they threw this scope out. There's something wrong with um, the... I think the input on channel 2. Something's flaky in there. And then it probably sat unused for a long time. And this board, or this strip... Started flaking out, so I don't know. Not sure exactly what these, how these buttons are supposed to work, but if there was a flexible membrane on the other, on the, uh, on the front of it, or maybe it was, you bring a magnet close to it. I don't know. It's just I'm not sure exactly what they were, what these buttons, how they were supposed to actuate, but those aren't working. So. Um, and it's not really all that valuable a scope, so I don't think I'm going to invest any more time in trying to figure this one out, although it uh, was an interesting um, dig out of the dumpster. <laughs>